All right, guys. Hello and welcome back. This is the Siberian here, and I had a request from this fine gentleman here to make a video on how I edit my documentaries. So that's what we are going to be doing today. Um, this little video tutorial thing is going to be not super specific, so that you can apply it across a, a little wider of a, a scope of things, but it's going to walk you through my uh, process of how I approach and carry out editing of of my documentaries. So that said, it's going to have three steps, um, which we'll just walk through one after another. So let's not wait anymore. Let's jump in. So the first step for uh, creating this documentary is writing the script and recording it. So just in Google Docs, I just type out a script, make sure it's well researched, make sure I have my sources saved. Sometimes I save my sources on a different document. Um, you want to, when you write a script, the way we write uh, words and the way we speak words is different. So. After you write through it once, make sure you read through it out loud, not just in your head, but speak it before you record it, because you will end up changing how you word things in order to make it speak naturally. After you got a good script set, I use Audacity to record it. So, um, what you can do is Audacity is free. Just, just. Google it online and download the latest version and you can record a track right here well here let me delete this and we can make it actually is this the one where it you can make it use the yeah so we'll record myself as I record it and then you can stop the recording and once you have it done say there's a quiet section here you can go into effects. Um, you can do a graphic EQ. What I like to do is a noise reduction. You get that profile and then apply it across the whole thing. Reduces some of your quieter noises so you get a better sound. Record it and then you can. So with uh, Audacity, you can mess around and just get all the words that you want said said um, and then you can export that file just file export as whatever audio type I just use mp3 because it's simple small easy to use um, and so once you get all of that you don't have to worry about timing or anything um, you've done your first step that's the first step is just getting uh, the script written and the audio recorded. Step number two is jumping into the editor. I use DaVinci Resolve. It is free to use and is a very powerful editor. If you, I started with Adobe while I was uh, in school and I could get it for free, but not having it for free now, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna pay for that powerful of a editor when I can do just about everything if not more with DaVinci Resolve so I really enjoy DaVinci Resolve and its fusion tab has enabled me to do the animated map sequences much easier so yeah I, I highly recommend it if if you guys are interested I will put the links for DaVinci Resolve in the description of the video so the first step I do is I drop down my my audio file so I recorded an audio file and I drop it into one of the lower audio settings so you start with two video tracks and two audio tracks just keep moving your audio file down and it'll add a new track for you automatically so after you get your audio in place you're going to want to get some music in place this is the way I do it is I I start with the actual documentary 
audio and then I get music. So you can use YouTube's got a, a studio. If you go to your um, YouTube studio, if you have a YouTube channel, if you scroll down on the left side, there's an audio library and you can search free. All of these, uh, all of these songs are free. Won't get you into any trouble on YouTube if you post it. What I prefer to do is purpleplanet.com. Um, all of this music is also free and you can search all, all types of, of files. All you gotta do to give them the right um, credit is just say music from purpleplanet.com in your, in your description. So I highly recommend, they have some high quality stuff, which is a lot of fun. All sorts of different types of music too. So get your music, and, and I've also used Ben Sound here. As you can see, it says Ben Sound down here. That's another free music site. Once you get all of that set, you are just putting clips. After witnessing the ease with which the sweet. So you get your narration and then you just find clips to put over your narration that matches. The one thing why I do music and audio first is because audio will determine a lot of where you make your cuts timing wise. Horses head out. So the Sepieha family. You can Once make a lot of good cuts magnate in the Polish where, Lithuanian comp Sorry, I'll, I'll pause that. You can make a lot of good cuts where music changes. You can line your music up with your audio and even as you can see here, I've I've cut the audio to get rid of silences or mouth noises that you might make while recording like the some of those kinds of sounds you will make naturally and you can cut them out in this oh time. Life. Had fallen on hard times. Since he is so just finding or creating whatever you need for your video. For me, it's a lot of maps with some Empire Total War images or, or videos, and then these custom map animations I make from scratch. If you wanna know how to make map animations, uh, I have another tutorial that you can check out um, linked in the description as well. So that's the second step, is gathering everything into this editor and getting a rough edit. The third and final step is fine tuning. So as you can see right now, a lot of my files, I just have hard cut transitions. When Ogin when that? Ogin it's not a terrible look, but um, you can make it a lot prettier by going through after you've completed a rough edit of all your your clips that, where you want them and just do anything from cross dissolves that'll do a simple um, cross dissolve from one frame to the next although it's uh, going a little slow because I'm recording while doing this but as you can see it just fades it from one to the next that's a nice simple way to do it or if you're feeling more ambitious, if you, sc if you scroll down in DaVinci Resolve, there's all sorts of custom specialty, uh, they're called fusion transitions. People make them in fusion and then they get uploaded. I really like this burn away one. Um, but yeah, just be aware when you're using fusion transitions, if you're moving this, Sometimes I animate the files so that it looks like there's motion going on as they go. So here, I'll, you'll see it here. And Oginsky forces managed to get between his troops. Yeah, you see how it's zooming out? It won't know how to zoom out at the beginning. So it might look a little choppy if you use a fusion transition on files that are moving. Just to be aware of that. Another fine tuning process I do is this adjustments clip. 
So if you, I think it's open F, open FX. If you go to, no, it's not open FX. Let's generators. Nope. Uh, yes. If you go into effects, not open effects, there will be a, a, a title you can search for adjustment clip. Just click and drag that into your timeline over the top of your video files. Yeah, it really doesn't like me doing this while recording. If you um, drag that over the top, you can apply all of your effects to this adjustment clip, which will allow, oh dang it, that did not go where I wanted it to. Undo that. Control Z is your undo. Uh, the adjustment clip allows you to add adjustments to a whole group of clips. So all these have the same effects applied to them via this adjustments clip. So if you wanna see the difference of it, this is my files, my video without adjustment, and that's it with. So without and with. So I add a vignette around the edge. So if we go to in here, uh, I guess it doesn't list the effects I have. Um, I add a vignette. I usually add a little focus blur. So if you go to open effects, there's all these different types of blurs you can do. Um, one other form or way to get a nice blur that focuses around the center is to jump to the color page. So I'm going to walk you guys through that really fast. So we'll let DaVinci load this, but hop over to the color page. What you're going to want to do is you're, you're just going to have one file here. You're going to want to right click and um, or right click in the in the open spot, not on anything. Add node and then a corrector. So you're going to make a little that'll add one of these nodes. Select your first node and then select this window. And I create a circle window here. Draw it on there and adjust it however you want. You can boost your softness so that it affects more or less of the area. Um, I'm just going to was put it back to what it was, 5.25. This is on a, my current documentary project, so I don't want to mess anything too much up. Um, but you'll want to create this this in your first node, and then apply color changes or whatever you want in your second node. Um, and that will allow you to um, create, so like this one, you can make it, if you add a blur to this one, it'll only blur the edges while leaving the center of this area in focus. But say you want to change the color of everything in, in the file, you'll want to adjust your second node. So the first node is just the areas outside of the circle, and the second node is if you want to adjust everything in the frame. That, that's a good way to add a focus blur or specific color corrections. Th this window is very powerful and I don't have time to really go through all of how to do it. So there's plenty of tutorials online to look at. Um, so I recommend if you're interested to check that out. A couple other little things. If you are using something like Empire Turtle War, you're going to need to get rid of the UI, which you have to do by zooming in. So if you click this little uh, button in the corner, the transform brings up your controls to transform. You can rescale. Of course, all of this is controllable here, but if you want a physical representation of it, what you're doing, you can 
do it like this. So once you click that button, you have the freedom to move around. And Empire, unfortunately, doesn't have a way to really get rid of the UI. So you just have to zoom in and, and move to the side and make sure your mouse isn't on the screen. Advanced. And as they reached 100 pages. I'm just gonna control Z, control Z. Get us back to where we were before I moved everything. There we go. So that's our third part is just fine tuning, making sure going through and then adding audio effects. So as you can see, I have a lot of the Lithuanian marching effects here, or faltered, these are musket they... effects. Uh, for effects, you want to go to freesound.org, create a um, create a, a free account, and then all of these people have recorded, you can just sign in and um, download for free. Some of them will request that you give an attribution, so make sure you do that. But most are free to use. So that's about it, guys. So that's my three-step process is get the audio set with both the sound and the audio recording. Then get a rough edit of all your files in place. Um, and then finally, the third step is just go through and fine tune everything. Add your transitions, add your adjustment clips. Um, and remember, this can go up. These um, video files, you can have as many as you need. I don't think there's really a, a feasible limit that you can get to. So once you got all that, you just hop over to the deliver page. Uh, you can either do a custom file. I usually just go to YouTube, type in your tile, where you want to export it to. And these are my settings. So I, I record at 60 frames because it creates a nice smooth look and I can slow things down if I need to. 1080p um, is my resolution. I do an MP4 format with H264. That's like your professional video format. I always recommend that. And then after that, you just hit add to render queue and render all. So there you have it, guys. I hope this is helpful little video on how I record and uh, edit my documentaries. If you have questions, make sure and drop them down below. Um, I will also be doing some more uh, modding tutorials. Those have been very popular or the one I have has been very popular. So I'm gonna show people how I make, I just figured out all the steps for making a custom map. So I'll show you, I'll do one on that and maybe some more like large scale changes in Empire Total War. If you guys are interested in any of that or want more of documentaries or more um, videos like this one, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment requesting stuff and I'll, I'll try and get to it. But with that, I hope you guys have a great one, and you'll hear from me in the future. Have a good one. Bye.